Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, we're going to answer one of the most common questions that we've gotten now that we have the ship out of the water. What is up with the ripples on the ship's hull here at the bow? That's called oil canning. End of video. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support. So, uh, what is oil canning? Why does it happen? Where does it happen? You don't see it too, too often on battleships because of the thickness of the steel. But it is extremely, extremely common on steel vessels, particularly with thin skin. The oil canning in particular happens on battleships at the extreme bow and the extreme stern. Where you see it near the waterline here on the bow of Battleship New Jersey is the thinnest plating of the entire shell plating of the ship. It's less than a half inch thick about 7 sixteenths, or uh, about 12 millimeters. It looks like the plating is indented, and you can see the frames every four feet, and you can see the longitudinals above it. So it creates these like rectangular indents in the hull of the ship. That's not denting from the ship being hit by anything. And it is something that you see on both newer vessels and active vessels. It's not just uh, the ship's really old, so it's got that. Really, anything with thin steel will start to develop that. So, why is it called oil canning? This is a reference to the old-style sheet metal constructed oil cans. They are sort of like uh, a triangle shaped, and out of the point, there's an applicator nozzle. So you would flip the thing upside down, and you would push your thumb on the thin sheet metal of the bottom to depress it, so you're literally crushing the metal a little bit. When you remove your thumb, it pops back out of place, but it has squirted some oil through that applicator into whatever it is you're trying to lubricate. And that's what we see happening here. The, the thin metal is being depressed, indented, just like your thumb on top of an oil can. So what is doing that if not pressure, if not somebody going up there and pushing it, a tugboat hitting off of it or something like that. The problem is the sun hitting the steel causes it to heat up, which makes it expand. But it's attached to those frames and those longitudinals. So the only way it has to expand is to cave inwards as it grows. The sheet metal is expanding faster and further than those thick frames behind it. They're not heating up as much because they've got more material to distribute that heat over. And so that's why you see these sorts of indentations on ships. You might also see it on metal roofs of buildings or other sorts of things like that. And it's amazing to me how many people are concerned about the structure of this ship or other ships that they're commenting about online because you can see that oil canning. And really, it's not any sort of indicator of a larger issue. Obviously, where you see oil canning is some of the thinnest plating, so that is where the hull is most endangered to corrosion. But you almost exclusively see it above the water in areas that uh, aren't wasting through quite as badly. Uh, somewhere where, where you really see it is like World War II fleet-type submarines, the, the structure above the, the pressure hull. That's not even a watertight area. So like if you visit my old Torsk back in Baltimore, Bakuna here in Philadelphia, or one of the many other submarines in this country, and you see that oil canning around the frames, that, that is not any sort of indicator that they're not maintaining them well or that that's an area that's about to fail. Just like this isn't an indicator that the battleship is going to have leaks at the bow. And at the end of the day, the heat from the sun that's causing that to expand is the reason why U.S. Navy ships are painted this light gray color, why great white fleet ships were painted that white color. These lighter colors absorb that light better and make the ship cooler than, say, during World War II where we were painted navy blue and it just absorbed the heat and cooked the crew inside. Some of this oil canning may well date back to World War II when the hull heated up. So what are some other questions you have about the ship? Let us know in the comment section down below. We're talking about this right now because normally 
our pier doesn't extend all the way to the bow and stern of the ship, so you can't see this as well. But while we're in dry dock, you can. Let us know in the comment section down below what other questions you have about this sort of stuff. Um, if it's something dry dock related, we'll talk about it now. If not, we'll talk about it after the ship gets out of dry dock. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.